For this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate just some basic technical illustration techniques, uh, mainly making just some simple primitive shapes and doing them in the technical drawing style. So to start with, I'm just going to create a cube, but I'm going to do it in a very specific way. I'm going to start with just creating just a rectangle somewhere on the page. And then I'm going to use the shear tool. And with the shear tool, I'm just going to click right in the center and then grab just the very top here. And I'm just going to kind of lay that square down, kind of like that, just to whatever looks right. You have to be kind of careful with the shear tool because it can easily uh, completely distort things if you're not just moving really slightly with the with the mouse. I'm going to kind of lay it just like that and then I'm going to take the selection tool I'm going to hover over the edge of this object here and I'm going to click and drag straight upward and I'm going to hold down the option and shift key as I'm doing that and that will make sure that it stays straight above the other one that's what the shift key does and the option key will make a duplicate so when I release the mouse button I should have a second rectangle there so now I need to separate these into two separate shapes each one of these into two separate ones so to do that I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to trim on the far left and far right points for each one of those like that. And once I've done that, what I want to do is select the top half of the bottom shape and just hit the delete key. Just get rid of it. And then I'm going to select the bottom half of the top shape. And I need this, but I want to get it out of the way for now. So I'm going to go into Object, Hide, Selection. So it's just out of the way. Then I will take the direct select tool and I'm just going to select both of the left endpoints. And then with a command J, I can join them. And I want to do the same thing with the other side. Just select both of those points, hit command J to join them. And now I can get that other piece back that I hid. So I'll go up to object, show all, and that should bring that back. And then just to finish the cube I do need to take the line tool and just drag a line from here down to here just to finish that like that. And then you have a basic cube. Uh, the nice thing about drawing it this way, it seems like it's more complicated than it needs to be, uh, but when you draw it this way it has the outside, the overall outside shape as one solid shape, which means if I wanted to, even though it's not really the nature of a technical drawing, I can color that in so I can add you know, whatever fill color I want to it. You just have to make sure you send that shape to the back so that these lines still show up. Now once I have that, zoom out, click here, uh, once I have that I can reuse that cube over and over again depending on what my drawing is supposed to look like. The, the secret to a, a accurate technical drawing is that all the angles should be the same. Every angle that's on the X, Y, or Z axis should be all equal. So as you can see, kind of all these lines match up with one another. And that way if I wanted say like another box on top of here as part of the drawing. I can do that. If I want to alter the shape a little bit, I can use my direct select tool to just grab certain endpoints and scale it down. And because all the angles are the same, it should look correct no matter where I place these. 
Uh, I could also, just using the lines that I have already as a guide, just angle that like that. And I can create shapes like that that would look maybe like a cut in. And I can even even reuse these lines if I want to. So I can pull a line from somewhere else and use it to make an interior line like that so it looks like it has a hole bored into it. So you kind of get the idea. You just want to establish one set of angles and then keep reusing those for everything that you draw. You can pretty much do the same thing with an ellipse. The only thing I'm skipping is the shear part using the shear tool just because with this particular shape all I have to do is make an oval and it should look correct. So once I have that oval I can drag upwards holding down option and shift and use the same scissor technique to trim the ends like that and now I will select the top half of the bottom shape and delete it select the bottom half of the top shape and hide it and then I can join these endpoints with the command J and then just do a show all to get my this line here back. Uh, notice though that when I go to fill the shape with white it does hide that line. It's still there you just have to send the larger shape to the back so you can see that line. And the same thing applies to this one. I can duplicate it scale it because I'm just reusing the same shape over and over again even if I distort it all the angles should be the same and I can stack them and everything should somewhat match up so that's just kind of some some real basic techniques as far as the technical drawing goes and then in part two I'll show how you actually apply that technique to make things slightly more complex.